I'm Jim with Hammerhead Engineering, and today I'll be showing you how to assemble the hydroslitter tooling string. Right now in the US alone, there's 10 million lead water services providing families with drinking water. The hydroslitter kit was developed to address this issue. Being part of the R&D team here at Hammerhead, I've had the good fortune to test hundreds of different lead replacement components. The hydroslitter kit is a culmination of that rigorous testing, providing you the most reliable, durable, and trusted products out there today. Now, let's get into the hydroslitter kit. For this example, I've chosen one of the most common setups I've seen here in Wisconsin, and that is an existing lead line that's three quarter in diameter being replaced with a one inch diameter poly line. First thing we're gonna do before we assemble is take a look at the card, look at the image at the bottom and get an understanding of where each component is gonna end up laying. Then we're gonna take our pipe sizes, go down to the left palm here and find them, and then work our way to the right and pick out the individual components we'll need to complete this job. I've already done that for us, and everything we need is right here. First thing we're, item we're gonna wanna put over the cable is this blade as a tapered end and a flat end. A lot of guys wanna put this taper end towards the lead. This is not the slitting surface. In this case, we want the sharp flat end facing towards the lead pipe. So we'll go ahead and slide that over the cable. The next item we'll be sliding on is a smaller expander cone. This cone does a little pre-expansion work like I mentioned earlier. On top of that, it also adds a little distance between the slitting and expanding forces, thus making the overall load required to finish a job less. Next up is the separation tube. Separation tube is like the expander cone. It adds a little more distance between that slitting and expanding force giving us a lower tonnage overall. And here we have the bigger expander cone. When it comes in the box, this will be already assembled. You wanna go ahead and twist off the nut, push the body over the cable, and set it in place. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take your jaw set, make sure you put anti-seize on each face, all it takes it's the drop of a P and just wipe it across the whole face. Once you have anti-seize on the jaw set, you come back here to the cable, and you're gonna slide it right over. When you put this jaw set over the cable, you only want a quarter inch of cable hanging out behind it. Now, to assemble your retention nut, you're gonna slide your expander body back over the collets being careful not to move them, and twist on the nut itself. A lot of guys in the field like to just hand torque this. I highly do not recommend that. You do wanna to get two wrenches on this and torque it down until you get rid of the gap between the nut and the body. So there's two flats on the sides of the expander cone. Put one wrench over those. The nut itself is a hex. Get the other wrench on there. Keep twisting it until you see those two surfaces connect. And now you're torqued. The next part we're gonna put on is the pipe puller itself to bring in our new product line. What we're gonna do is take out the screw back in this clevis, place the loop on our pipe puller in the clevis, and tighten down that screw, torque it up, Now that's ready to pull. We can also run the tracer wire through these milled reliefs on the nut itself. Tape it to the puller so you don't lose it and put your new product pipe inside the puller. As you can see, hydroslitter is a simple option to replace lead water service lines. If you're looking for more information on training with the hydroslitter kit, you can go to our website 
at training.hammerheadtrenchless.com. And if you're looking to purchase the Hydra Slitter Kit or its components, you can visit our website at hammerheadshop.com.